Hey everybody, this is Arathus and welcome back to Tropico 6. So we're going to continue trying to create a smuggler's paradise here. But we have a lot of jobs that we have to get done one after another. It seems like everybody on this entire freaking world has something they want from, you know, Tropico and El Presidente. So we're going to have to try to accommodate as many as we can. So the prison's going up right now. Penultima wants me to research and issue prohibition, which seems a little hypocritical considering um, we're also producing the alcohol. So kind of, eh, I don't know how I feel about this one. But hey, we get to issue our first edict. So honestly, I have to figure out how to issue my first edict. That's not it. Ah, there they are. If you want to improve work performance across the whole of Tropico, there's nothing better than sober workers. As a fringe benefit, prohibition helps folk lose weight, suffer from fewer heart attacks, and their livers gradually recover. Trouble is, with all the gin joints out of action, people are going to be mightily bored. Yeah. And it might be best not to be out on the streets at night when the hoods are shaking down the speakeasies. <laughs> So, it decreases the efficiency of all entertainment buildings by 30%, increases the efficiency of all other buildings by 10%. I don't like that trade-off, I really don't, but I have to. I want to finish this quest, so we're going to do it, much as I don't agree with it. Alright. Yeah, no, we know this. Export rum. Okay. So apparently, I also need to produce wool, and... Increase our education. Prison is being built as we speak. So, let's see about making us a few uh, ranches. Food and resources, right? Yep. And sheep. Wow, there's not a lot of places that are great for sheep, are there? Well, at least not over in these areas. So it looks like we're gonna be expanding to this center area again. I'm going to build two sheep ranches. And I think that's good. How many people do we have unemployed? Do we have enough people to fill these jobs? Not really, no. Okay. That's going to be a problem. All right. We also need to build a circus. I don't, I, I don't get why the church wants us to build a circus. And... I'll buy that, but how much does it cost? Ooh, good lord, I don't have that kind of money right now. The church can ease up off of my back and, you know, wait till I got some cash or they can pay for it themselves. Education, though, I should really increase. Let us build a high school. Oh god, that's expensive too. Oh god, seven grand. Nope, nope, nope. We ain't going bankrupt here today. Let's finish some of our other quests and collect the cash from those and we go from there, right? Alright, ten grand. Good job there, Presidente. Thanks awfully. Hey, I'll say this about war. It keeps us busy with exciting adventures. Hey. You call them adventures? We call them adventures, this department policy. The rewriting of history department specifically. Busy fellows, those revisionists. Yeah, I can imagine. With your help, Presidente, we'll win a war one day, irrespective of the actual outcome. All right, all Very right, appreciative then. of the help you're giving, Presidente. I tell the chaps in the club, good sorts, those tropicans. Just don't drink the water. Thanks. You're doing good work with the criminal underclass. Sterling work. Now we need to keep the big enchilada bottled up on your islands until we find out who the blighter is. If you'd step up your border security, we'll be jolly grateful. Keep the rats on the ship, eh? You know what? For that kind of stuff, I'll do it. Where do I build my customs off? It's all the way down here, right? Infrastructure? No. I'm going to get... So is it under military? That'd be... Nope. Government would make sense. Yep, there it is. But Lord... I cannot afford to build that thing right at this moment. I can't afford a lot of things right at this moment. Good God. Freedom is all that matters, Presidente. Freedom for the market. 
Help hmm. me free the market, and its invisible hand will make our financial dreams come true. The market is the tool of the oppressors. Help me promote freedom through equality, Presidente. Although, uh, you will, of course, be more equal than the rest of us. Man, we're just going to keep getting demands, aren't we? All right, so... Does it really matter? I feel like I need fire stations, but I also feel like I need groceries, so... Let's start with groceries, because I think they're cheaper. I mean, honestly, I want both, but I probably can't afford both. All right, let's find the grocers. Public services? There it is. Wait, how much did that thing cost? I don't have the cash for a lot of stuff. 1200 I can do that. Okay, let's find a, an area near some residential. Not there. Actually, honestly, that's a good question. Where are most of my residences? Oh, over there. Okay. So I have some here. So this wouldn't be a bad place for a grocer right here. Hey, we got some cash. For what, I do not know. And yeah, I need to get this powered. Any way to turn off this? Guess not. All right. All right, so the grocery will get built. We'll increase our standing with the communists. Which, I mean, either way... It is a great day for our comrades. We even had cake to celebrate. You know, I, I'm glad you got your cake. I'm really, I really am. But I want your money. That's very capitalist sounding of me, but I want your money. So, let us get to the education. Let us build a high school. That's a big high school. Alright, cool. That'll help with the education. That's all I can afford to build is the one, so... Fingers crossed, right? You guys have... You guys do have workers. Excellent. Hmm. Uh, let's go past your prohibition. I don't want it to decrease the quality of the land around there. I'm going to increase the budget for these. Uh, increase, increase production. I'm not going to change need the resource. Need your help, Presidente. It's all gone pear-shaped. And we need a steady hand on the tiller. What you need? Well, it turns out you're the best Presidente for the job. The profiling boys love you. Something about moral flexibility. Eh. No pressure except the usual threat of bombing. Toodle pip. Fulfill an export trade route with the allies. Alright. I don't know what I'm producing that I, you guys actually want. So we're going to pause this for a moment while we figure this out. I would like you to sort by trade partner. Thank you. Hmm. You guys want... Do I have any of this? I could export meat. Steel. Sugar. You know? I already use sugar to make rum. Right? Cool. Hey, I have a third trade route. Let's use it. Hmm. Maybe we should export tobacco. We need cash. We really do. What do you mean I don't have a free trade license? Oh, yeah, it says buy. Never mind. So, sugar? Sugar. I'm going to do this to increase efficiency. I believe that's what it does, right? And with all of these producing sugar, we should have a really good chance of hitting both the rum and the wool. Not the wool. I don't know why I said that. The rum and the sugar, so... 
That's two down we can take care of. Multitasking. Also, I feel like we need some houses over here. So people can actually work at these locations. Ooh, I am broke. Ouch. Ooh, this is bad. We in the red. <clears throat> we in the red real bad. I'm so glad I made this deal with you, Presidente. Don't worry, no one will know that we met. In fact, we didn't meet. In fact, we never met. In fact, who are you again? Only kidding. See, I can joke. No, I could use some real cash, though, dude. Like, real cash. Ugh. Complete a job. Yeah, I was not paying attention when I built those houses. I thought they were cheap. At least we get a fair amount of cash every time somebody... Every time a freighter shows up, see? We get a bit of a reprieve. I mean, it's not a great reprieve, but we get one. Hey, we're in the positives. We need to just leave our money alone. No more building. Nothing of the sort. And uh, general education's just fine. Cool, students are coming in. Good, good, they're gonna learn. Eek. Ow. We'll recover. We'll recover. We'll get this back. Look at that. 13,000. Alright, so. We did not export enough rum. So I need to fix that. It's a luxury good, is it not? No, I ain't importing no rum. Well, that, that sucks. I didn't take up a high, a, um... Uh, that really sucks. I didn't sell enough rum. Well, here's hoping another trade route shows up. That really, really sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really hoping somebody comes up and decides they want some rum. They the call me the broker. I guess I had another name once. But you know what names are good for? Do any yeah. of these offers look good to you? They're all strictly legitimate. Generates a new trade route offer. Uh, yeah. Let's try that. It hurt. Because I need that money. But that did not trigger. I, I was hoping. Come on, you guys want rum. Eh, maybe I just gotta wait. Wish I could re-sign. Because, yeah, I did not do a large enough volume. Hmm. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to find something else to sell in the meantime. I guess I could do another sugar route. I mean, we're not really using our sugar anymore. At least not until a rum thing shows up. So, eh, it's a little rough. We're doing decently on the cash again, though. It means I should be able to build a customs office shortly. Yeah, it's under... Let's, ooh, God, that's gonna 
That's gonna get me really close to broke again. But I want to complete some more quests. I feel like I like you should fire is raging in Tropico. Oh, up there. Well, you know, I'm sure a fire department would have helped out a whole lot. Guess we may have made the wrong choice there. There are no local fire brigade. Preferably a volunteer one that I ain't got to pay. Maybe. Doesn't look like it. Ah, well. All right. Just want to look at the status of our trade routes. Wait, we haven't exported any sugar. Why have we not exported any sugar? I don't know why, but once they strike it rich, all the master criminals start looking for islands. Volcanoes are especially <laughs> popular. No idea why. All right, well, let's get the steel mill. Presidente, I was smugged three times on my way here. I feel like a detective in a dime novel. Crime movies have become a craze, and what do you know? Bada bing, everyone's gangster crazy. Speakeasies are in fashion, and they're attracting master criminals like femme fatales to a gumshoe. Do not go out there, Presidente, and if you do, pack some heat. Whoa! This crime's a thirsty business, am I right? I'm here to make you an offer you can't... Ah, uh, you will prefer not to refuse. I want to launder some of this juicy rum money, so I'll need an establishment. How about a restaurant well away from the law? There has to be a suitable shady speck in these swamps. I want to eat spaghetti while my heavies lean on punks. Okay. You want me to build a restaurant with a crime safety below 30. So I need the crime safety overlay. Okay. Well, we're going to pause this. And I'm going to find my overlays. That's not my overlays. No. There they are. Crime safety. What's the most dangerous part of this island? <laughs> Put the restaurant up here. Ooh. Right here, actually. Well, I can afford to unlock the restaurant. I can't build it, but I can afford to unlock it. Concerned about foreign trade putting you out of a job? Fear not! The customs office is here to protect you by manipul- uh. Monitoring international trade. Okay, I have no choice. I need to build a fire department. Forty-five hundred. I can build it, but I will be broke. But, as we can see, things are getting pretty bad in terms of fires here. So I need this, even if it breaks me. And you know what is going to break me? Man, we are juggling all these jobs, though. We'll get there. It's fine. Right? There. It is complete. Once again, the breadth of El Presidente's awesome political vision is shown. Citizens are willing to improve their education at any age, so it's never too late to build education buildings. There you go. Does anybody want rum again? No. All right, then. Ah, uh, yes, again. All done? Wonderful. What? What's done is done. After all, no refunds. No, there's no need for second thoughts. Everything is completely above board. Okay. Huh. I didn't realize I was still exporting rum, but I got to take a look at this and figure out why this isn't working. Like, am I actually the using... The coming along nicely, Presidente. Now that you have law and order, we can arrest some wrongdoers. We've been doing this sort of thing for years. It's nothing like a trip abroad and some locals to scare half to death. We want arrests, Presidente. Criminals for preference, but use your initiative. Really, you want me just to arrest random tropicans? Man, that ain't how this works. Well, I mean, the if you pay me enough. The citizens are demanding elections, Presidente. 
It seems that they want the choice in how they are ruled. So selfish. The citizen, yeah, yeah, okay, so. The citizens are demanding elections, President. I know we did that before, but it seems they want another one. So greedy. Shall we give them what they want, or shall we make them want what you want? I always want what you want, and you always want what you want. So shouldn't they also want what you want? Good God, Penultima. <laughs> uh, let's see. I will deliver an amazing speech. We shall... Ooh. Promise improvement. In fun. Everybody wants more fun. No? Right there. Okay. And we will acknowledge that fun is not great in our island. We ain't gonna blame nobody. And we shall praise... We shall praise the communists. My I mean, I'm not so sure about that last people, one, but... My children. Your prosperity is my honor. Your solidarity is my faith. And I gracefully accept your love. You are my tropico. Whoa. My people, are you bored? Let Presidente yeah. entertain you. We'll fix that. Oh, it's nothing fun anymore. Let Presidente be all the fun you need. How, you though? Enjoy life? Let Presidente enjoy it for you. <laughs> nice. Our efforts are aided by our communist comrades. To each according to their need, from each according to their ability. Equality for all. Especially those who are more equal than others. I have heard it said that Tropico is no fun. Well, soon it will be twice as entertaining as it ever was. And half as boring, too. That's, uh, four times the amusement for everyone. I'm not sure that's how it works. It is you, my friends, who I thank for making me what I am today. I am proud to be your Presidente. U-Boats versus submarines. Canal Uno investigates the underwater menace. Later, Atlantis fish people, the real underwater menace. Good Lord. Okay, so with that inspiring speech out of the way, I am all out of time for today, so thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Tropico 6 to see if we'll actually win these elections. I mean, we got a good shot. We're at 66%, but you never know. I might have just ticked off a whole lot of people with that speech. We'll see how it goes. Thanks again for watching, guys.